If you're going to write a successful grant to the NIH, you need to make sure that you have a really strong argument to convince reviewers that your research project deserves to be funded. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to build that argument to convince your reviewers. I'm Sarah Dobson. I'm a grant writing expert, and I help early career researchers like you write show-stopping, outstanding grants to the NIH so that you can get your research funded and make a real impact in your career. So today we're talking about the argument that you need to make in your grant application to make sure that your R01 uh, is convincing to reviewers in terms of uh, your ability Ability to get funded. So how exactly do you do that? Well, first of all, any grant that you write is about persuading your reviewers. That is the objective that you are trying to accomplish. You are trying to convince your reviewers, persuade them that your project deserves to be funded. And there are a few different ways to accomplish that. The first and one of the most important ways is to make sure that you have a good response to every one of the scoring criteria. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you are answering some of those implicit questions that reviewers are going to have when they're going through your proposal. And in my experience, those implicit questions fall into three different categories. The first is, is this project worth funding? Number two is, is the team trustworthy? Can they pull off the project in the way that they have proposed it? Number three is, is this project feasible? Can the team do this project in the way that they've proposed it in the time that they are given and within the budget that they have proposed? So worthwhile, trustworthy, and feasible. Those are the three criteria that they are implicitly looking for. And I call that the WTF framework. So as you're going through your research strategy and building that argument, make sure that you are answering those implicit questions as part of the WTF framework. So the worthiness of your project will generally be dealt with in the significance and innovation sections of your R01. The trustworthiness piece will generally get dealt with in your bio sketch and your budget justification. And the feasibility piece will generally get dealt with in your approach section. But what you really want to do and what will really give you a strong application is if you're able to sprinkle that WTF piece all throughout your research strategy. So as you're preparing your argument, make sure that you're thinking about those three components of the WTF framework, worthiness, trustworthiness, and feasibility. Now let me know in the comments, what are you going to do differently to make a stronger argument for your R01? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.